Okay, first we're gonna repair this section right here. This is where a factory seam is. It's got uh, two solder joints connecting your positive and your negative. So what we wanna do is remove this silicon in this area. And then all we're gonna do is just re-solder that and then put a dab of silicon back over it and it'll be good as new. So first we're gonna take a really sharp blade, cut down, you do not wanna cut down through the copper. There is a copper backing on that that the wire and power run through. So you wanna make sure you do not cut down through that. So see, we got it off pretty simple. And see, instead of cutting down through here, cutting that, kinda wanna cut this back because you do not really want any of that silicon in when you solder, touching it. So get all that back. Just like that. So now we have that exposed and you have your crack separation in there. So all you wanna do is take you some solder, put on here, get you some on your tip. You're gonna hold both sides down and then hold it until it all melts back together like that. And do the same thing, put you a good bit on here. Come in this way. You don't want those two solders to touch. Heat it up, let it melt, just like that. So both of those have been re-soldered together. Next, what you wanna do, we got 100% silicon. Take that, and if it's on your boat, it's easier. Just put you a generous amount on there, like that. And then you can slowly just wipe it down, like that. You wanna make sure that whole area gets covered. Just like that. So then let that dry. It'll dry clear and uh, that area will be fixed and you'll have illumination again. Okay, so right here is where your wires corroded off. And you can see you got a positive and negative. Right here in this area, you have a corresponding positive and negative. So you want to keep track of which side's positive and negative. <clears throat> but what you want to do is take your wires, cut the corroded part off, cut back good enough, and then strip you some new ones. All right, you see I did two different links there. This one is better. This one's too long. So we're going to do that again. You want just a little bit. Too much is bad. So that's a little better there. So now what you're going to do is take this wire, take your solder gun, put that solder, you fill that whole wire up with solder. Just like that. You want all that wire full of solder. Next, this part's corroded. We got our wire repaired. We're gonna cut back here. You wanna cut on this side of the copper, saving as much of the copper as you can. This piece, see, we didn't have much on it. So now what we're gonna do is Try to pry this separating from here. This is a copper board and you do not want to cut down into your board. 
just like that and it should start to separate pretty easy once you get it started and see we got it peeled back now i'm gonna take these little nippers just like that okay now we don't have any silicon on here it's just a pure copper board and now we're going to take our solder put it on there wait till it bonds and disperses everywhere you want to get it hot you want to make sure your solder gun's hot cannot be cold and do that and as soon as it bonds see we got our two tabs now what we're going to do is make sure we got our positive and negative right and all you're going to do is take this push it down on there like that come over here take negative push it down on there like that make sure there's no points yeah and you're good to go that strip will illuminate just fine As long as you get your positive and negatives right you're good to go now your final step and this is a can be the cause of corrosion if water gets in under this um, shrink that we put on them you can do this instead of putting the shrink actually works better because we're trying to keep any water corrosion out of there so what you're gonna do is basically just put all that on there like that and then smooth it down with your boat but making sure you sometimes it's easier to do two applications so it looks better wipe off your access but that's going to seal that to where it's not going to get corroded anymore